Hey guys, how's it going? Lunar Complex here, and this video is going to be a little bit different than the rest. Uh, this may be titled as Zelda Styled Items Part 3, but this is more or less a kind of rework because I figured out something while I woke up one morning, and I kind of thought to myself, did I really have to design this mechanic to take up so many pictures? Two pictures per each item. And so I kind of thought maybe, what if I just made them placeholders like I did in my Ocarina tutorial? And so... I can't believe I never thought about this, but basically, with the Zelda-styled item slot mechanic I have, I made it so that you can only that you only need three pictures now. So the only two common events you're going to change are hide hood and off and display hood and off. And in hide hood and off, you're just gonna you're basically gonna erase every picture except. Let me put it this way: you're only gonna have erased pictures one through three, and then the same control switch that was in there before, so to turn this whole thing off. And then in display hood and off, you're gonna show the picture again. And you're going to do these two if statements right here. So if hood A taken is off, make sure it's very important that you put off because by default they are on. And if that's the case, then we're going to erase picture two. So we're going to erase anything that could be like picture two is basically now going to be a placeholder and not a permanent only item kind of picture. Because before that's kind of how I had it set up and that was really bad to do it that way. I, such a long time ago, I wasn't really focusing on how... I, I thought of pictures in MV, and pictures are placeholders in this, and not actual static images forever. So, I was kind of my fault on that end, but this will definitely fix everything. And so, we're going to check, uh, the second check we're going to do is hood B taken is off. So, kind of like the same before. So, we're going to check if anything is taken up in slot B, and if nothing's in there anymore, we're going to erase picture 3 because picture 3 is going to be like in my ocarina tutorial where each note had its own column. Picture 3 is going to reference that B slot position. If you guys remember right here, we have our slot A and our slot B. This is hood A taken, hood B taken. So if these are both off, we're going to go ahead and erase the pictures because there's nothing in there. Next, what we're going to do is, well, I, I kind of want to go over lastly at the very bottom here. We're going to shut this kind of, of common event off. So display hood equal off. I just want to make sure you guys know that because the middle of this is very much the same as right here. So I just put in a little comment here, item. You don't need comments. They don't influence the code at all. So we have if harp position is equal to one, we're going to show picture two. And in picture two, we're going to show the harp being in position one or on top of slot A. Next, what we're going to do is in this if statement, harp position equals one. We're going to go ahead and create an else branch here. And in this else branch, we're going to have the same kind of if statement, heart position equals two. And if so, we're going to show picture three. And in picture three, we're going to have the harp looking like it's in position two on slot B. And that's kind of it. You're just going to take this whole entire thing here, copy it, paste it, and then change which item it references to. So this one was harp, this one's ax, this one's shovel, whatever items you have. And we're checking ax position one. And if that's true, we're going to show the X on slot A. Else, we're going to check if it's in 2, maybe. If so, we're going to show it on slot B. And then else, there is no else. That is, we're just going to check. If anything else, the position is 0. And if that's true, well, we don't show the item at all. We don't show the picture. It's in your inventory or you don't even have it yet. And that's why we have these two hood positions here checking before anything else because whenever you use any of the items in your inventory to equip it to your character or to the slots on the screen you're going to go through a check hood positions and in this check hood positions we're going to check if hood a or b is taken if none of them if a is not taken at all if all of the items positions are not one then we're going to go ahead and just erase picture two which would be any one item in position one Likewise with uh, hood B taken. I believe this all works. I did some testing on it uh, I did about 10 minutes of testing to try and figure out if I can break it I couldn't break it But if there is a problem with it, please let me know as soon as possible so I can try and find a solution and That's kind of it for this video So I hope you guys enjoyed and I apologize for not making the first tutorial of this as best as I could with only having a limited amount of items based on the amount of pictures you wanted to use and I apologize for this video being so short, but I'm sure that's probably a good thing considering my last was like 47 minutes. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys.